Okay, it looks like uh, it's really building up big time the snow. Just like that. I told you. You know, I was a little worried because when it falls down, especially near the river, it just goes like, you know, quite a bit. So far, the car drives no problem in it. Just I have to go back to the yard and I gotta get a bunch of uh, stuff ready. Get some wire ready. Um, number one and number two cords from appliances. The 220 cable, we need to get that ready. And then some various tools and a few cutters and a few things. I can't believe the amount of snow. They said it's going to be a lot of snow. The benches are already a couple centimeters already. They said two, up to two centimeters an hour. Oh yeah, look at this quite a bit there. Oh, I can't believe it. This is going to be like a storm. So, um, snow warning anyways. Oh, don't tell me this guy's stuck in a hill there. something see oh look at this guy's wiping out oh this is going another way I'm gonna turn around even though my tires are good how does it have to go so fast these guys turn, turn the pure ice Got the poem. So my wife's there. Hello? Where are you cold? Everybody's wiping out the hill behind the house. You better be careful. The snow's really bad. I'm already at home. I'm just up at the Well, I would the, be worried. It's really icy or something. Everybody's sliding all over the place. It always happens on the first snowfall. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll warn you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. So as we said, just like that, that's so why I don't want to bring another vehicle because uh, I don't know how the tires are going to hold up. This is even a steeper hill here, this one here. But if there's no cars on there, I can at least go on it. Come on, let's go. Well, I'll try the tires, see how they work. through I mm -hmm. might not even be able to go to storage yard mm -hmm. the way things are see those trucks there mm -hmm. and cars probably don't have that great tires mm -hmm. well trucks should have been good the trucks are wiping mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. well we'll have a snow day I guess mm -hmm. well these tires when you drive you can hear the clicking they click like crazy. Mm -hmm. They bite pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a Chevette mm -hmm. one time and had really good tires. I had bought really good snow tires, and they were awesome. Mm -hmm. They just they bite bites too like nothing. These tires are they're like chains. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Forty five k. It's just blasting up the hill. About time, good tires. These hills are way more bigger than what that little hill was. Everybody's trying to, yeah, I don't know. If they, hopefully, they can salt the big road. It's actually a really big hill coming down the other way. All the kids are leaving early, actually. Well, 245, they're probably out of school. Yeah, I made it no problem, but see, I could have made that hill behind my house, but the car's wiping out. You see that? That's why I said we get snow here. It's ridiculous. It's it's so icy and wet. The bottom turns to wet, like right to ice. 
Oh, it's a little slippery there. But it's definitely a biting attraction, really good in the snow. These tires are awesome. So I'm just gonna all along. I was actually my intentions were to strip that air conditioner. That's what I want to do, but I didn't think it'd snow that fast like this. See, this road goes to a real steep hill down, which I'm a little bit worried. It's getting a little slick. You can feel it, but this car is handling it no problem. Okay. Grab my wire so I have something to do. This way it is. Look how much snow fell already. It's going crazy. Just hope I'm able to get home. The big hills could be a problem. Because it's going, it's also you got a big hill up and down, you got a big hill. You need to get some cutters or something. What do you want? This cutter here, maybe this cutter. That's a start. That's a start. From here. Uh, okay. We'll take a little container of tools. Let's do the steel. I can do a little bit of work at home. Use some screwdrivers. So the weather, like I say, turns pretty quick here. Don't know what I'm gonna have to do at home. Let's grab a variety of stuff, pliers. And then I'm gonna grab a couple drills, some batteries. This battery here. I'm gonna grab some of these containers so if I clean my house, I can bring some stuff here. So I gotta move eventually, anyways. So. There, three. Of my wire, grab a dolly. Yeah, I've had my bald tires, they be screwed. I knew it's gonna come snow quick, that's why I changed, changed my tires right away. Everybody usually waits for the first snowfall, but. <laughs> So nowadays here, see all the stuff I want to strip. Look at this stuff here. It's number two, but it's thick, really thick. You can strip all this. It'd be great. Okay, hold on. That's yeah, just some kind of credit agency for a friend of mine. From Slovenia, I keep calling. I block the number over and over, and they keep calling with different numbers. It's a problem.
turn all that into number one. That'd be nice. Should have done this before, but you know, you're pissing out other stuff. You don't expect. No, it's not to go that fast, right? See, some of this stuff is not non-strippable. This is the garbage. Some things might have to just sell it the way it is. Short, really short ones. This stuff is nice here. Let's strip it. See, your fire engine is going steady now. What's gonna happen? Well, people drive normally in this weather because they got good tires, but well, what about the guy next to you that has bad tires, right? here. That's the biggest problem, it's always the guy around you. Wipes out and stuff. I'll pass on that for now. Should be a good, good start. A couple of big buckets and then a bucket of the number two dryer cords. Stone cords. Oh, the thing froze. Wheel froze or something. It's just stuck. Why is that? Stuck in the snow. Froze. Right, and they're both froze now. That stupid thing. Hydroplaning. Okay. Oh. Should keep me busy. Wow, oh, it's just frozen like that. Okay, let me get some more tools ready. Guy almost ran me, I had to swear sideways. You're so stupid if you'll be driving here. He was going like full speed, then he breaks. And he went all sideways and I had to go to another lane just to get a, avoid the guy. I got to film some of these guys here. Almost you running me. So close. I wanna get some food, something to eat here. But uh let's see. Cause it's flat up here so it won't be that bad. Just like that, it was what? Hour and a half? Everything's white now. What do I want to get? I'm gonna get maybe a subway or something. You know, I slow down way before lights, even though my tires are okay. These guys, he was like uh, 10 feet from me, then he braked. Then he went sideways. I had to go like I went forward about five feet and turned out the lane to the next lane here to avoid the guy. Okay, this road doesn't look too bad so far. They salted it earlier. It looks congested up there with red light. Okay, hold on. Yeah, my wife said it was crazy. There's cars all over my back road, wiped out and parked everywhere. It's a nightmare, she said. Fire department was uh, dealing with cars, uh, who knows what around there, but so. We'll have to see now, because I'm worried about the road. She said she slowed, uh, slid right into the intersection. It's bottom, it goes right into a T, the bottom of the hill. You know, it's the ice's issue, like, so hopefully, I mean, the car seems to be pretty good. So a few times I was driving and it slid sideways, like as I was from park 
to drive. So that the front sits slid sideways for uh, I don't know maybe like five feet. I don't know why that was uh, happened a couple times, but that's a problem living on a hill near the river. It gets a lot of uh, cold and frost and everything. It's always a nightmare. Everybody's trying to take these side roads here to get through. The big road, main roads are kind of a pain. Well, I just gotta go slow, that's all I can do. I'll go right to the end here, and then it'll go into the top of the hill kind of thing. See how it looks. So we'll see what happens. It's kind of like, uh, almost like a little big flakes, small flakes. It's minus one right now. That's Celsius, minus one. So it's only a few degrees below freezing, basically. If they salt it, it's not so bad, right? But now they use, not really salt, they use some sort of liquid. I'm not sure if they used any of it yet. It's always, like I say, people are caught off guard, right? They wait for the first snow. Usually the first snow doesn't stick. But we had a snow storms like about, I don't know, four or five years ago. And the first snow stayed, it stayed as ice. It snowed and it iced out for weeks and weeks and weeks. So that ice was always under the snow, no matter when it snowed. And we got like four, this guy, what's he doing? Spinning sideways a little bit. We had up to like four or five feet of snow kicking around. slippery or why spun out but you could have just crappy tires the guy who knows what he has usually trucks got good all season tires but we'll see so we're on the kind of the top of the hill here I'm a little bit worried cars are going pretty quick up up the hill see just gotta go slow that's all I can do right go slow and that's it well you know we don't get, we don't get a lot of snow like you guys back east and stuff you guys are more used to snow than I'd be you know what I'm saying even though you have good tires you still have to be careful in driving A lot of guys go fast, then all of a sudden they, they break it. It's too late when you break it. You hit that ice patch. It seems like you're going twice the amount of speed. <laughs> the hill is a pretty steep hill here, but the cars are going. They, might, they may have salted it, maybe. I'm not sure, but they're going uphill pretty good. Doesn't look too bad, really, but I can tell so far. But the wife said she slid right at the bottom of that hill. Well, that guy's sliding, maybe. slower as slow as possible this is the hill that bug, bugs me usually because beyond that T this, this is like a cliff cliff of trees goes way down got faith in my tires free tires got a, got a faith in them and when I get past this part my hill is a little bit of a hill coming up. That's a nightmare too. But actually, go slow. It's going pretty good. But the wife says super slippery right here, right down. Where that stop sign is? Oh, look at everybody's all over the place. Cars on the side of the road. See, trucks are wiped out down there. Oh yeah, the whole hill's a nightmare. Whole hills and nightmare. This fire department down to everything. That's why 
everybody's debating on the go or not. That was actually pretty easy. My concern is now this, there's a couple cars that block in the, my intersection to get to my street here. Oh, there's one car sitting there. She said it was backlogged pretty good, she said. Don't cut me off, get out of the way. Problems are runs out of uh, power when you step on the limits of power. I don't know why, it's like yeah. I'm stepping on it, I'm flooring it, but it's not revving nor and it's like limited power. I don't know why it does that. So I'm gonna back up my garage that I'm gonna unload. unload all the stuff here so that I have stuff to scrap I can sit home don't have to worry about the weather too much if it gets really bad